today we're going to make a table out of a carpenter's box. So I got the box here, still very heavy, it's full, still full of tools, and I'm transforming it into a table. So um, what I'm going to do is I need four legs. Um, I'm going to take the tools out. I'm going to send the box. Uh, well, I'll leave the paint most of it so I make sure it's no sp splinters or anything popping out so when it, when it comes to finishing I'll be nice I swear I hope so anyway we'll find out anyway um, for this stuff here I will need four legs which um, I'm going to recycle some legs as well. Um, I don't know, I'd like to put some straight legs onto it. I don't have any. I have some old legs lying around which uh, I'm going to choose which one will be the best one. So I'm going to check that right now. Pick up the legs. So I've got the legs. I've got this leg here which it's an option. But, yeah, it could be nice, but oh, I don't like it that much. I have another idea. I have another, I have another one. And, at the minute, it looks a bit naff. And, yeah, I'll be able to change it. Just make a straight shape. I don't have a wood turning lathe, but I need to improvise on that. It'll be just a simple thing to do anyway. I use a drill. I made the improvised wood turning lathe. Uh, so I just put, I'll just put a bearing there on the end with a with a strap, a couple of screws. It was um, quite a bit of time it's not that difficult to do but um, it's just time because I have just I just improvised and uh, try the wood turning late maybe yeah it will be a bit more much easier than this but it's done now and uh, what I'm going to do instead of doing the other three I'm going to keep it for later and I'm going to start to send the box another day in my workshop and um, I turn out the four legs they they're, they're okay they're quite nice um, what I'm going to do now I'm going to cut all the same size and I'm going to try to apply it into the box I've cut the legs uh, but I done a 15 degree angle on them and actually I realize I'm doing two angles on them because it's the 15 degree there against the fence and I need something to support the leg so it keeps straight so at the minute I'm doing two angles I'm doing the 15 degree against the fence 
plus the angle of the leg. So what I've been thinking is to make the support so it comes uh, the same level with the other end. Uh, I, well, I just decided actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a, a quick thing and I'm going to use my laser cutter uh, because it's just quick and I need to make four pieces and I can make that in about two minutes. <laughs> So I've done the little squares here, which they are 42 mil, and um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on the end here, and um, so this will be now with the same level as the other end. So now I'm going to finish the tenants by end. I'm going to draw a line with the square, uh, one in each end, and I'm going to use the, um, the tenon saw uh, to finish up. To finish up with the tenons, actually I decided to use the multi-tool, not the tenon saw. I have four pieces here, and it's just a much quicker job, so that's what I'm going to do. So tenons are done, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drill a hole in each corner, so it will be my mortise for each leg. So the four legs now are in place, what I need to do now is uh, to secure the legs. So I need to make a support on the inside uh, because the 3 mil ply in the bottom of the box is not, it's not strong enough. So I've done one so far and the result uh, it's pretty rubbish because I use my multi-tool to cut it. Um, what I need to do is actually I need to use uh, uh, the mortise machine uh, to do this kind of thing. The support for the four legs are done. I've done it on a mortise. It's not a very pretty result, but um, I'm going to try to cover that uh, with a, probably a wood washer, um, which is uh, to secure it in place. What I'm going to do now, I'm going actually, I'm going to glue it down, and uh, I'm going to make something to cover that. Now I'm going to I'm going to glue the blocks, and I'm going to glue this washer, and I'll use a screw to secure it. It just uh, I glue the first one and it turns out uh, the wash in the screw it wasn't um, it wasn't strong enough so I put a screw in each corner here uh, of the block and 
I put four screws in the bottom and uh, now I just need to repeat the process uh, on other three legs. So I finished the four legs and I had to reinforce the legs but they are fine and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick sand and I'm going to oil it. There we have it. The coffee table is finished. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on next video.